My foot was just like dangling. Oh, this new crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady! You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti! You have OBCD. <laughs> okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm actually starving. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy, but you are obese. Hello? Is anyone home? Jealous people don't necessarily want what you have. They just don't want you to have it. Isn't that the truth? Some people live a sad, bitter life. If you have anyone like that in your life, uh, or who makes you feel that way, it's time to move on. It is time to move on. Is she hinting at something? As you guys know, yesterday I was not feeling good at all. Was not feeling the greatest. Still hurting a little bit. Um, after I have a gallstone attack, or like I just feel really sick in like my upper abdomen where my gallstones are. Um, there's like this phantom pain that I feel for the next like day or so. I haven't gotten sick after a binge really in a while. So it's just kind of like unfortunate that that happens, but like getting sick like that, like makes it to where like binging just sounds painful. That could be a good thing for the future binge monster that decides to pay me a visit again. Is this the one? Is this the one? This is the one. Oh my God. I've been wanting this blanket, you guys, off of this website that's like over $100. Has anyone else noticed that the gifts Amber gets from YP are very expensive, like over $100? But Amber's gifts to YP are pretty cheap, like the bracelet she got her in the last video? Oh my god. Oh my god. I know, I've been sitting on that one for a while. Genuinely. Oh. Wow. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait a second. Spark pause. Here's a sweater. It has a matching one for Twinkie. Twinkie. You know I've always wanted one. Yes. Twinks. I know you like your sweaters to be a little snug snug. Not like super loose. Do you like how it fits? I love how it fits. Twinkie's like, really? You gotta do this to me. Yes, we do. Oh, hello? My little baby. Cuddling with my blankie. Like, this is so sweet. <laughs> hey, look at her. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> It's time to say R.I.P. Because look, Feline got me another birthday gift. She already got me Titanic, the Lego situation type deal. But then she went and got me another gift today. She got me the pros. Thank you, big. These are the new side character. Thank you. Why are you more sexual with Feline than you were with your ex? So I'm a very, 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 very sexual person. Not my recent ex, but my ex before that. You could also see that I was very, very sexual. Constant sexual innuendos. That's how I am with people I'm into. I love the constant not so subtle digs at Becky. Funny thing is we all knew she wasn't into Becky the way she was into Destiny and was using them as a rebound. And when we called her out on it, she would rage. Then when they broke up Amber finally admitted she had very little feelings for Becky and even fake cried during the proposal. Which also makes me wonder how much tea we are going to get once she and Wipey break up. And that is the chemistry that me and Fleen have but like a million trillion times more. <laughs> My most recent ex, we didn't have that type of vibe. If you weren't around for the beginning of the Becky era, they didn't have that kind of chemistry because Becky didn't even want to be in a relationship with Amber in the first place. And Amber was still in love with Destiny. So we're gonna do a little tea spilling here, and Destiny doesn't even know this, so... When I first got with Becky, I was very open about 
everything probably upwards to a year year and a half after destiny and i broke up i was still in love with her i was able to separate that though from the love that i felt for granny but just because you guys didn't get to see that side of me does not mean she wasn't living within why must you rip the doors off of your advent calendar that's not how they work how do they work did you invent advent calendars um it's like an obsessive thing like it just gives me a lot of like uneasiness i feel like i have to rip off the doors you say that you don't have enough money for weight loss surgery but you keep buying gifts this one is annoying <laughs> this one's really annoying my money is technically no one's business and what i do this has been a comment that i've seen over and over throughout the years because yes she has talked about getting weight loss surgery multiple times her logic is she doesn't have $25,000 to just drop on surgery, but what she doesn't get is from the time she first mentioned it years ago until now. She hasn't been able to save up enough money for it. She's also never going to understand the concept of how much money she blows on gifts, takeout, groceries, horrid hauls, earrings etc., and how that could all add up very quickly in terms of saving. Our point is Amber, you could have had the money by now, but I digress. Dropping 25,000 in one go, like here's 25,000 versus me saving. I actively saved for Vlogmas. I had a whole Vlogmas budgeting moment. So being able to do Vlogmas and have a fun and creative holiday with my girlfriend versus dropping 25,000. It, there is a really large big difference like everything that I spend money on is because I have it and because all my responsibilities are taken care of every area of savings that I have was taken care of because that's just how I do things I wondered if you're still friends with destiny no definitely the one about you not being friends with Eric and Ricky that makes me so sad it makes me sad too we are no longer friends anymore they have no idea what happened behind closed doors. I miss them a lot and I'm sure they miss me too. I'm surprised they were friends with her as long as they were after the breakup. They, along with all of us, watched Amber come on live stream with Becky and put her down every chance she could. Trying to make Be Becky feel bad for leaving you, huh? Question mark. Well, she proposed to me. She proposed to me and we were in love. We had some of our future plan so yeah she should feel like utter shit for breaking my heart she would say things to becky that made becky eventually cut all ties with amber even then eric and ricky remained friends with amber and would go out on double dates with she and wipey so i'm really curious what the final straw was for the boys being friends just wasn't in our favor you were lurking the reddit and that's how you knew someone liked your eyeliner no i know people like my eyeliner because people message me all the time <laughs> i don't understand reddit i've never understood reddit i do not purposely go especially and look for things about me because i know that it could be a dark dark place the fbi agent rumor no fbi frank is most definitely real Oh, we believe that she believes the story is real for sure, but the point is this was obviously someone trolling messing with her. And she's both too gullible and too stubborn to admit that it doesn't even sound legit. So after the phone call that I had with the FBI agent, I ended up sending a voice memo to said person. And if it wasn't for the fact that there was some personal information that i said in the voice memo like i would just completely show you the voice memo because if i was to create a narrative or a story or a storyline it would be entertaining it wouldn't just be a little fbi tried to contact me because they saw a comment it would be a lot more dramatic than that trust that and it's like you guys have created this character like me and feline have talked about it and she's like they created a character who's not even you YP was just mentioning in a past video how Amber has her persona troll Lynn and wanted to know if the reaction channels also put on an act or if they were real and genuine. So it seems YP agrees with us that if anything Amber is the one that shaped her audience's views on her. Yeah, that's true. 
I want to know what Felina's doing while you binge. Does she not try and stop or help you? It's very rare that I will binge when she's around. I, I do it when she's sleeping. She definitely helps me. She stops me from ordering takeout a lot. When you have someone next to you saying, I want you to live. I want to have a future with you. It hits different. I heard that your girlfriend is a big time smoker and that's why she ruined the panda sweater. The last time I got cellulitis, it was summertime and I was so cold. I ended up puking and I got puke on the panda sweater. So embarrassing, you wear your girlfriend's sweater and you get puke all over it. You only see that in rom-coms. Say, Say bye. bye everybody. <laughs> That's crazy. She's like, I need people to know that like mental things are it's scary like there are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall this is my life and I do what I want